I do think no, that, Hunter, no offense, um, you are kind of the exact type of guy I was talking about in my opening, like you personify the pussification of men. And yet now all of a sudden, again, this is why you were so easily swayed by something as irrational as the spooky though. little, yes it was, as no, the little not. Timmy story. That's why you were able to be swayed over is because you've always been shallow. You just went it's from not, one shallow side to the next shallow not, side. You no, know, it's not shallow because Brittany, any last words? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know I've been carrying this debate and all, um, yeah. but I do think no, that, Hunter, no offense, um, you are kind of the exact type of guy I was talking about in my opening, like you personify the pussification of men. I mean, when you were right wing, you did your hair, you were had a tan, um, you dressed better. That's way now, more early. They broke you down. They broke you down into whatever it is you are today, but you're apologetic, you cry about everything. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I mean, they, it's exactly what I'm talking about though. Okay. Well, I mean, definitely the stupidity that just came from your fucking face definitely has me crying. <laughs> so I apologize uh, for that. But that was yeah. we'll jump into the Q and A. Sorry, that my wasn't bad. very gentlemanly. That wasn't Don't cut oh, wow. lady. Mm, let me get my Let's fedora. Jump into the Q and A. Stunted <laughs> slime. Get this stunted <laughs> slime out of my sight. Nick, Couple don't of things, you, folks. Can we start wrapping it up? Because I think Nick has a uh, date with his cat boy here soon. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. That's true. That's true. The orgy with Doyle's. Did you call me a cat boy? I'm a cat man, and I have toxoplasmosis. I love cats, Hunter. Why all these ad hominem in. attacks? And I you would know what? Like I think your wife's pretty. I, I would, would definitely like bring, bring your you to wife. come on after the stream after the panel. <laughs> Brittany, why don't you come on and we can talk for like thirty minutes or so? So yeah, I wanted to just talk to you briefly before I uh, I end stream here. You said like I've become the biggest yes. beta. Yeah, oh, that was I pretty think. funny. I, I really wanted to hear more. Okay, so um, I mean, do you not think that? Uh, it depends on how you're defining beta, really. Well, okay. One thing I've noticed, first of all, is like I said on there that um, when I was looking at pictures, because I wasn't really paying attention to a lot of this stuff before, but when I was watching some of the stuff that you did before, you know, your hair was all spiked up, you had a little more color in your face, you um, were a little more unapologetic, and um, I don't even think you were wearing glasses, huh? Um <laughs> wearing glasses isn't beta, though, and a, a no, yeah, but Wait, like, why? Why were you wearing them when you were when you were conservative? <laughs> so there's a couple things. Is one, I would have thought that being obsessed with your hair and spiking your hair would be more beta, not the other way around. No, 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 no. Like, uh, no. So it's l less beta to be to, obsessed uh, with your hair looking good. Look more physically um, aesthetic. Uh, no, it's not less beta. Uh, okay. You well, like kind of as stopped even trying. As Okay. As far as the uh, glasses or whatever, I wore glasses then too. It was what you were watching then were scripted videos. So I would yeah. literally just take my glasses off, do the video, and then be done. That's also why I probably looked like I quote unquote had more uh, uh, color in my face because I was using an actual camera, whereas now I'm just live streaming. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know if like is appearance really the only thing that determines if somebody's a, a beta or not? Um, no, but it does have something to do with it. Do I do that think that kind I, of a logic, that kind of logic could be like, used against I mean, you? Do you think that kind of logic look, could be used against you? Like, could somebody just look at you and be like, yeah, she's a bimbo, ignore everything she says? Um, see, there, bring that out of you. Bring that part out of you, man. That. <laughs> no, I'm wondering if you genuinely <laughs> think that that, that logic would that be that. acceptable there. Hmm? I'm wondering if you genuinely think that logic would be acceptable there. Yeah, I do. So, Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's that's like the most beta thing I've ever heard, though, because what you're saying yeah. is like, yeah, like a mean enough insult of somebody's appearance is all it takes to make a good argument. Like, that's bullshit. Mm, no, but I just it's weird how your entire look has completely changed when you. Um, <laughs> it hasn't. Became left wing. No, I mean, I it hasn't. And also it's like, not became like, left wing. Like, it's that I actually had a kid. And then I got married and then I bought a house and then How things just ago, changed with my up. life. And also I, I still look pretty similar to how I used to only before mm -hmm. I was a lot more thin and way more obsessed with my hair. Okay. Well, I um, recommend you still do your hair, maybe get a little bit of a tan. Um, if you can not wear the glasses and um, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to just, I'm going to, I'm not going to just like not see so that I don't look quote unquote beta. The context 
could you just make any argument as to how you really think I'm being beta? Like, do you really think it's just appearance? Um, I think, okay, well, let's just put all the look stuff aside. We can, we can just put that aside. I think you've been like extremely apologetic for every single little thing that you do. Um, like I think what? that I'd like one example, please. Well, it just seems like you're trying so, so hard to please the left wing. And I get it. I get that. Like, that's just the, how they operate. You have to, um, basically cater to them. And they ask a lot of people. They ask a lot. And you're having to cater to a wide range of people because it's such a diverse group of people. I, so you, you are, I are, know you don't really follow me that much, but I literally do not go out of my way to appeal to the left. I, I the um, left there you know there are people on the left who literally fucking hate me and call me a Nazi, right? Uh who? Like uh, there, I, I can show you. I mean I just recently went over the drama with the People calling me Hitler Avalone because I made a fucking hilarious joke about mud huts. And uh, oh yeah, I heard about that thingy. Um, but that. <laughs> like that. But that's, that's what um, I mean. Is you're like you were way less apologetic then, but yet I'm still getting into a bunch of bullshit all the time because I'm not fucking apologetic. What was your response to the mud huts? I, what do you mean? I doubled down on it and talked about how stupid it was for people to think it was racist. Yeah. Good. Good for you. Good for so you. So I'm not just like blindly apologetic, right? Okay. And I also don't try to please the left. I didn't agree with the left on Kyle Rittenhouse either. I don't agree with but the left okay, when it comes wait a to the minute. CIA. Hold on. I, I remember asking you about doing a debate for that, but I feel like you almost got permission because uh, Destiny <laughs> was that he, he took that stance, and when like Destiny takes a certain stance, then a lot of the other left wingers will follow because it, they've just gotten licensed to do that. Um, didn't I take the stance like at a much different time? I, don't I thought think so. Destiny was like in favor of Rittenhouse when it first went down. I, I only started talking about Rittenhouse after um the the trial began, and uh, just if I had the same opinion as Destiny, I don't. Again, I don't know what that has to do with anything. I looked it up myself. I did research into it myself, and I thought that it was justified self defense. So that was the opinion that I took, and I argued with other leftists over that too. Are there any positions that you like would take that Destiny and Vosh have not taken that you think um, would piss off the lefties? That well, I mean, I, my opinion on xenogenders, I'm pretty sure, is different from Vosh's. I, I don't oh, watch a lot of Vosh's debates I, I, or Vosh's content anymore. I'm not sure what like his latest opinion is on these things because I stream myself. But I mean, I, I don't think that Vosh or, or the other lefty types like Xander Hall would agree with my take on xenogender shit. I don't know what a xenogender is. It's where people literally break away from the uh, masculinity or femininity or rejection of, of such being non-binary and claim that they can be virtually anything or anything is their gender. Um, and I think that's like, bullshit. That like when people are talking about how they're going to be a deer or something? Yes. Yep. And I think that that's bullshit. That's brave. That's brave. <laughs> it's not brave, but you. I, I'm not saying it to be brave. I'm saying this is a position that I can think of off the top of my head that I'm pretty sure Vosh wouldn't agree with because you asked me that. Okay. Um. So Vosh thinks that you can be a deer? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Vosh is way more chill with xenogenders than I am. Mm, I don't know. I Vosh, I have no idea what his thoughts on being a deer is, so I'd have to ask him that one. But, um... Okay, so <laughs> so you think that people should not be able to be identifying as a deer. That's good. Um, what else? I don't know. You you keep saying that to be like, haha, so funny, so cringy. But like you asked me what is an opinion. I gave you one off the top of my head and that's what it was. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if that's uh, – I mean I'd never even heard of a xenogender. So. You're, just, you're acting really beta right now. You're not no. making, yes, you're not making any points. What, like, how am I beta? You said I'm not apologetic. I am, or you, I, you said I used to be less apologetic and now I'm so apologetic. No, I'm not. Not at I all. Just, mm, what do I just, I mean, what am I apologetic I, for? Like, granted, I don't watch like so much of your content, but I do think that I see a lot of stuff. Wait, okay, what about that person that was um, doing your graphics or something? And they said, what, what did they say that was transphobic? That you they all of a sudden a had to put out a statement? They used a trans slur, a slur for trans what, people. Like the one with the, like, where, like, T R A N N Y? Yeah. And so this was so, so extreme that you had to put out a statement about it. It was extreme enough that I felt it was probably within my best interest and the interest of my actual principles to not fund 
somebody who was transphobic. That's against my principles and, and my beliefs. So that's actually me being consistent. That's me again, once again, not being apologetic. But why would you need to put out a statement? Why just like not? Because people um, needed to know why my merch had been discontinued and, all of a sudden. And people also were already giving me a bunch of shit about it. So it seemed to make more sense just put out the statement so people know what's going on. Do you okay. think that that's what it means to be apologetic? Um, yeah, I think that's a little over the top when you're putting a are, statement out. This, out I don't think you know the that, first thing about like PR well, or like managing like a, a, a brand or a business. Okay. But here's this is what I'm talking about. Like, and I'm not talking about in this sense. I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm talking about how men have been pussified on things like this, like where they are just having to apologize for freaking everything. They're having to I apologize don't. for things that they're not even doing, but that somebody they associate themselves no, with are so doing. You're wrong. I apologized for having business ties to someone or something that did not align with my principles. So by me cutting ties with that business relationship, that was me standing by my principles. So That's called being alpha. So that's not um, somebody who uses that term. You think they should just like go broke and be homeless. And no. uh, what does that have to do with anything? I don't have to work with. Well, you're here. saying that you don't think that they should get business. Um, no, I said they aren't going to get business from me. They were getting paid commission. So I felt that it was a little bit uh, griftery, to be honest, to try and make money and then fund another designer or uh, whatever to somehow benefit my own brand like that would absolutely be a griftery kind of thing to do um you're paying them that's not a grifting thing no if you're, it's that you're they're giving me merchandise graphics you are grandstanding about you um getting rid of them that me would probably they're, be a little they're making me graphics they're pro providing me with something that i'm going to profit from and in the process i'm also funding them this does not align with my principles and this why doesn't make sense. Why do you know who's doing this for you? Like, why Why was that even a known thing? Like, who? whoever knows who's doing all the stuff behind the scenes? Why is that, like, even a thing? I, are Nobody you mad me. about, like, what happened on Twitter? Or is, are you trying to, like, explain how I'm beta? Because me just saying, hey, this is what happened and I'm going to change this is it, not being I'm beta. Gonna, Again, like, I think you don't know even know, like, the first what? fucking thing about just running a channel or what it means to, like, hey, let's issue a statement so it's extra clear what happened here. Like that's like one oh that's brand one oh one. Yeah, true. I lost all my channels because um people like that uh freak out about anything that happens or any kind of speech that goes on and uh make sure that they can't have any voice. But what <laughs> what I'm asking is like, did anybody even know that this specific person was doing these graphics? Yes, for you? I, I had to issue the statement partially because I was getting that a lot of backlash for it. Why are you telling people who's doing the graphics for you? Or I wasn't. Any... They actually told them. Interesting. And is this person like a radical right winger or something? No, not really. They no, were just they somebody just... who didn't align with my brand or my principles, and I felt that it wasn't uh, honest. Because that's the whole thing for me is that I, I have my YouTube channel, first and foremost, to provide an outlet for me, mm -hmm. for me sure. to share my opinion and my voice with things. And so me being honest is like essential to what I even want to do. I don't want to be like up here like lying or faking or anything of the sort. I want to be able to just be myself here on my channel. So. Are you yourself though? Yes. Like what do you, you what even What are you getting at? Do you genuinely think like my wife turned me to the left kind of thing? No, I'm saying maybe you don't even know what you believe in fully. I'm sorry, Brittany, but you're the one who – no, 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 no. You're, you're not going to throw that fucking shit at me when you're the what? one who was somehow convinced by the Little no. Timmy argument, which was one of the most demented hey, things I've ever heard in my hey, life. Little Timmy is somebody that we should all protect. All right, pal? And you – What's, what's one Little position Timmy? you think that I, I say that I have that I couldn't defend? I'm just saying that it seems like you might be almost kind of figuring out your views as well and trying to um, navigate that a little bit. And they don't seem like you are so steadfast, like strong in them. Wait, and you're just kind I debate of like almost every day on or, my principles and my opinions. How does that what do you mean? Are they yours? On my principles? Okay, where do you think I'm getting these from? Uh, probably Destiny and Bosch. 
So what do you, th- you think that like they hit me up and are like, hey, here's this week's talking points? No, I think that you watched a lot of their content and um, whether they um, you decided that they you were going to go for those arguments, then some of the ones you had before, um, you decided it was probably more profitable to go. Oh, no, left. so now you're you're doing the grifter argument. You know that's a really bad argument to make, right? I think that okay. Can I be honest? I think a lot of freaking streamers are grifters. Like I really do. This is all entertainment for everybody. Well, save the projection for someone else because no, I'm not a grifter, like, and I, I also mean, fucking killed my own streaming, channel by changing my opinions here. We're so. trying to make money. It's um, but I don't know. Like there are certain people you can kind of feel that it's authentic. Um, I, I will. Don't... I will be. I will not hang up on you if you can actually demonstrate or at least okay. tell me what the fuck a grifter is and how Why I fit you that. Hang up on me. I want you to tell me what the definition of grifter is and how I fit that definition. I'm not. I. I didn't say you specifically are a grifter. You're putting words. You in my said mouth. that I thought it was more profitable to yeah. move to the left. That is. Yeah, because I'm I think that like. So like, it's funny because a lot of people sit there and tell me that I was grifting because I went right wing, <laughs> which is really funny because I lost literally everything as I um, <laughs> as I was going right wing. I lost my channel. I lost a lot of our audience. The right does wasn't freaking um, spending as much. Um, I was like literally getting nothing. So I don't know how me moving to the right was somehow a grift. So but how is me I do moving to the left moving you, to a grift if the well, same thing happened you, to me? Wasn't your channel like getting in trouble right before it happened? No, I don't know. And I'm not, I mean, honestly, I'm not you talking here to Mayo again about this because you know that that kid's like deeply you know uninformed. Him. So he probably you want doesn't. Him to come on? You want him to come on the call? No, I'm. I want to go to bed actually very soon. I just want to understand. Yeah, Monday, like, Monday, we can talk with Mayo. Okay, I just want to know like what I what it is that either makes me a grifter or how I'm a beta. Why like you, you're, you're kind of just like wallowing around. over here, like sifting. Call you through. a grifter. I would never do that. You said that I w- did this because so, it was more profitable. Yes so, or no? Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. So that is implying that I I'm a grifter. Probably, you, wait, wait, wait. You're, it, like, are you even able to follow like the most basic fucking train of logic? I think it probably influenced you a little bit um, because I think you were losing your channel and um, I wasn't. I was getting you plenty didn't, of didn't you have trouble on your channel right before. No, my channel was banned temporarily in like 2019. I didn't admit that I was leaving the right or the, yeah, I didn't, I didn't come out with my video on leaving the right until the beginning of what, 2020? And uh, also my channel was banned at the beginning of 2019. So no. <laughs> How long were you a right winger for? Pretty much for like the, the beginning because of you're my- not- you're very young um so i can't imagine like your entire political like how long have you been a streamer for i started streaming or youtube content creation because i've been a youtube content creator for like seven years streaming i only just recently picked up on how old were you when you started streaming or youtube oh my gosh who cares either one um the political stuff i was probably like how old was i in 2016 um yeah, I don't, I don't remember how old I was exactly, but I was probably around, like, 19. Okay, so, I mean, like I said, like, you were re- really young. All right, so here, 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 I'm going to throw you a bone here. Um, I think because you were so young, a lot of people that are going to be that young, they are going to still be figuring things out themselves. They're going to be figuring out what their politics are. But you just so said maybe, then I was less apologetic, so I thought that I had everything yeah, figured out beforehand. You were less apologetic, yeah. But again, I haven't I haven't watched a lot of your content. I've seen clips of a lot of things. I've seen some of the um, progression and stuff like that. But I haven't. I'm not a regular viewer of your content. So, so was I like I, really unapologetic about what I believed when I was conservative, or was I like were, confused right, and I was just figuring really right shit wing, out kind yeah. of thing? If you were really right wing, then yeah, I think that um, as you are going to be doing that, you're going to be less apologetic. That's just like I'm still not very apologetic. You're contradicting yourself. You told me originally that uh, before when I was conservative, before I became beta or whatever, I was unapologetic. And now you're saying, oh, well, when you started off as being conservative, you probably just didn't know your beliefs and we're just kind of like figuring shit out. That's different. That's 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 a little bit different because I'm sitting here giving you a reason why that might have been the case, not what you were doing. Oh, Okay, I have yeah, I don't know what you're I don't even know what that means. It sounds like you're just oh. trying to like weasel away from an obvious contradiction you made. No. 
I'm just saying I'm I'm trying to figure it out. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out why. Do you think maybe you're projecting like some of your own shit on me? Like maybe no. you're like not really very educated. You don't really have any idea what you believe. You're easily I'm convinced still thinking, by I am still thinking out a lot of my dipshits like Mayo and the little Timmy hey, shit. Like, hey, you leave Mio out of this. It's Mio. All right. I'm just pal? wondering if you feel like maybe you're projecting your own lack of knowledge and lack of firm foundation or anything onto me. No, I, I am saying I'm telling you that, yeah, there's a lot of things I'm still learning. I'm still figuring out myself. And if I'm doing that like a lot later in life, um, then it's not a crazy thing to think that somebody that was putting this in um, as young as you were would be doing the same. And I think like you're sitting there tr getting really offended by it. I don't know why you're getting so offended um, right when now, I'm, I'm not offended. I'm trying to understand. Wait, I'm trying to hang up on me. Don't hang up on me. Well, I said I was going to hang up on you if you didn't know what a grifter was, and you kind of managed yeah. that one, so you're okay. That's not nice. Um, <laughs> don't hang up on me. I get triggered. And you don't want to trigger women because you are now a feminist, so there's that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just saying it's not a crazy, crazy thing if you are going to be um, figuring these things out as you go. It's not, it's not like a horrible thing to do. But you're getting offended when I am asking questions about it. I, one, I'm not getting offended. I'm, if anything, I'm offended by, no offense, your stupidity when trying to actually deliver your arguments. So that's what offends oh, me. It's me not stupid, what you, it's not, well, I'm sorry, you're dumb. So I'm going to call <sighs> you dumb. But it's not so much like I'm triggered by what you said. It's more that like the annoyingness of where you won't take a position or everything you say you're walking back on or changing. That's what's getting under my skin more than anything. So, yeah, every human being, if they are a rational person, is changing their beliefs regularly. It shouldn't be like, I have come to my beliefs, so now I am 100% this way and I'm going to stay here forever. Um, but it is rare because both of us kind of switched spots. You have um, switched spots and went from like fully right wing to like full on hardcore lefty, probably even more left wing than I was. I'm not even um, like hardcore lefty. People that say that are so terminally online, they never understand what hardcore lefty is. I'm, um, I'm a social democrat. Like I completely break away from the communists and the socialists. Those are the far lefties. So you're, you're saying, okay, so yeah, but I think that the social issues is what makes you left or right wing. Okay. Well, that's like fine. I have I have a lot of um economically liberal views. I have one or two maybe very right right wing views, and I'm apparently a Nazi. I mean, what are some of your Nazi? right wing? Well, it depends what some of your right wing views are. Do you think I'm a Nazi? I don't know. I don't know what your views are on on certain issues. Do you think that there are Jews that control the world? Uh no. Do you think that there's a cabal of I mean, there elites? There are rich people that control the world, though. Do you think that the rich people who control the world are all Jewish? Um, I don't know. But there are probably a lot of um, Jews that are rich because Jews tend to be pretty good with money. <laughs> right. But, but the, the so believing that there are like Jews in positions of power doesn't make you a Nazi because that's just a fact of the matter. The, okay. the problem is if you believe that Jews are uh, in positions of power and are all somehow like a hive mind and they're all kind of conniving to no, uh, I don't ruin Western civilization, erase white people and flood no, the country with degeneracy. People, no, I would I would argue that rich people um, are the hive mind and trying to kind of screw with everybody. Um, whether they are Jewish or not is not really like what I care about. Um, but yeah, yeah. And I'm ha I'm also half Jewish, by the way. <laughs> so, I mean, that doesn't um, really but, matter. Why not? Because what you're doing right now is a liberal uh, talking point. So am I a liberal again? Can I can I reclaim my left wing host title? You're, well, <laughs> you're you're <laughs> engaging in um, identity politics, which is like a very cringy form of SJW liberalism from like 2016. I'm an SJW now. I'm left wing again. No, it's that I don't think you even have like a, a decent understanding of what you believe. So when you bring up the card that, well, I'm half Jewish, you know, there were actual Jewish Nazis, right? Like you okay. being a Jew doesn't matter whatsoever in regards to what you believe unless you think it does, which then we would have another conversation. But that's a liberal pr position you're taking. This okay, is well, yeah, this really is the equivalent of you can't talk about this thing because you're white. 
Uh, no, I don't care about the juice stuff. That's more maybe people in my chat too. <laughs> but I don't really care. My whole right wing position is going to be mostly like the little Timmy stuff. That's probably my most right wing so position. The great that replacement. Huh? The great replacement. No, no, because the great replacement would be the fact that Jews are the ones behind all of it. Mm, not Jews, just the elites. No, no, it's the Jews is what makes it the great replacement theory. Uh, I thought it was just elites intentionally no. doing this to try and get rid of no. white people that made That's, it no. the great replacement. No, the Jews is why they call it the great replacement. I do think that white people are um, being, well, sort of being replaced, but... <laughs> do you think it's happening uh, intentionally or do you think it's just like people are immigrating I don't, I don't, I don't care. I no, don't no, care if it, it's intentionally or not. It matters, does it not? Like it, it also... Not to me. Okay. I just worry about a racial revenge. That's my whole thing. So your entire political position hinges upon a assumption that this thing that you're scared of might happen? Yes. Okay. Well, then I hope to God you're not going to accuse me of being like the irrational SJW lefty type. Okay. Because Why? that's what you're – like this is – that's ridiculous. I hope Why? you know that that's fucking ridiculous because Why, how, would you take me seriously if I was like, well, you know, I moved over to the left because I was just really scared that one day all trans people would be killed. So I'm moving to the left. You would make fun what of me and tell me I'm a beta. Way. You'd say there's no more alpha men anymore. Who's going to pay for the bill? This, that and the other thing. Like y what, you must realize that you're a meme right now. Was there one position that like made you um, go more left wing? There were various different positions that I realized made more sense from a left-wing perspective. Like which one? Systemic racism, LGBT issues, religion, to name mm -hmm. a few. But you don't have a position. You, you, no, I do. No, you have a, a, a scary bedtime story that spooked you enough for you to move to the to the right. No. See, he, see this, is, this is what you call gaslighting, Hunter. <laughs> so what, what not... policy was it that turned you to the to the right? not a policy it's a freaking what it's a natural um a prediction of what's gonna almost all, almost like definitely happen and i've actually asked so i've been doing some omegle so streams it was a lately. scary story that spooked you to the right why are you no, claiming I'm, why, why are you saying i'm gaslighting when you just said the exact here's, same thing no, I understand, here's the thing i do understand the mentality of people and i understand and i've almost had those kind of thoughts where i could see that being a reality and then you start to talk to some of these blacks that are um basically saying the exact same thing they're literally admitting that there's going to be a racial revenge you can see it happening already so i should show what? you um, no I, i'll show, you, i'm gonna what send can you a you video see already please what? tell me just give me, tell me really quickly tell you really quickly what what you're saying you can see this happening already what what do you mean yeah well when you have that fact that being so anti-white is like mainstream now um and white people are still the majority, it makes you wonder what it's going to be like when white people are the minority. Well, I, I would wonder what you mean by that, like the minority in holding power positions or the minority just yeah, as far as like how thing. much of the country they make up? Well here's the, here, well, here's the thing. So I know that blacks are never, are, well, I don't know, never, because abortion's now um, been banned, so <laughs> they might really uh, up those freaking numbers. But um, <laughs> what I'm saying is that I know that it's not going to be blacks that are going to be um, make it the majority. You're going to have all the different groups that are going to do it. And every single one of those groups has a grievance against white people. So um, what grievance do you think they have against white people? Like you white. say like this anti-white rhetoric, like what, what exactly do you mean by that? Because I don't doubt that there are some like dipshits on Twitter that say like white people bad or something, but where in general? Well, even white people are like being anti-white. Don't well, what you think that's mean, like- What does it mean to be anti-white in your here's opinion? The thing. Here's the thing that I was like, I always, um, before I got red pilled on that, I literally was like sitting there saying you know it's not it's probably a good thing if white people are going to be um you know the minority because they've just been so horrible and all this stuff but <laughs> but i wasn't even thinking i was thinking okay well i'm one of the good white people so that's fine but if there is some kind of racial revenge they're not going to know who the good white person or the bad white person is you're they're going to see a white again. huh you're projecting again it's actually really Project quite funny Everything you've accused me of, you have actually done and admitted to in this stream. 
Like what? You just said that you had you 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 were just oh white people bad. That's not a very grounded fucking position. Anyone that says white people bad or oh if white people become a minority who cares? L O L O L. Oh, because I'm one of the good whites. Like that's an extremely shallow, ridiculously pathetic it's reason mentality. to be on the no. left to begin with. Yes. And yet now all of a sudden, again, this is why you were so easily swayed by something as irrational as the spooky little, though. yes, it was, as no, the little not. Timmy story. That's why you were able to be swayed over is because you've always been shallow. You just went it's from not, one shallow side to the next shallow not, side. You no, know, it's not shallow because you can absolutely see this happening as it's happened before. And you can see that mentality um, that people me have. Where, like, a lot of times when of you ask people- happening. The, the entire sentiment that they have is, oh, well, white people have it coming. You see how much there's like this this seething hatred from the left towards white people, especially white men. Um, there is a seething hatred that they have. Like, and what do you mean? Hurt. Some of them like are, are there politicians that are, are hoping to end the white men? I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are. Can you just give me like any evidence at all? Um, sure. You want me to pull up some of my stuff that I have? If you have like an article or something, sure. Because I, no, I'm I only going to talk for a little while longer. Well, I mean, okay. Well, you're rushing me. I don't like it. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me pull it up. See if I can find it really quick. You're stressing me out with this rushing stuff. I don't like being Hurry rushed. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> nice to me. Oh my God. What did I have it titled? Um... Even if you just just send it to me at another time, it's fine. It just seems. Okay, and that... I can, can I send you the um? I'll send you a video too, and then maybe we can actually do this I'm just, um discussion later. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. It, I. I. Will you watch you, the video? Your opinions. That? It depends how long it is. It's like it's thirty minutes. I'll think but about don't it. That's pretty fucking long. But it's not that long. Oh my gosh, Hunter. But um, it just seems as if like you you really are have a very shallow understanding of a lot of politics. This is why I feel like you've moved. There's not a lot of things I really care that much about. This is um one of the things that I do care about. Yeah, but a lot, but all of your shit is based on well, the the left was mean. No, that just kind of ended up like driving me more to get here arguments from the right because the left. I see. Here's when when I started to hear these arguments, I was. Uh, I started to ask questions about it. I was actually wanting to have Destiny do a debate because I was hoping that maybe he would be able to give some arguments that would pull me back in. Um, but then they got into a whole debate about like music notes and it was just ridiculous. What about my debate um, with Mayo? I thought I did pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, Seriously, what did you think about my debate with Mayo? Um, you were a total Chad. You totally beat it that beta male no, Mayo. No, for real. I, like, because I, I mean, I gave good amount of evidence and mm -hmm. statistics that are much more reliable to make certain predictions on. And this idea that there's going to be some race war or some attempt at discriminating against white people is just not, there, there's, there's no evidence of that actually occurring or, or, or go, or there's no evidence that it's going to happen. Yeah. I don't remember your guys' debate. I'd have to watch. Um, <laughs> but, um, he is good at debating. So my own, uh, Yes. He wanted to come on, but you were... Um, I'll talk to Mayo next time. It's just uh, the fact that you think he is good at Monday. debating is also kind of scary to me, too, because oh. he was pathetic in that debate. He wasn't. You take that back. Okay. All right. We, well, I, get to, I, got, I know that you guys have your little E relationship, so I'll stop, you know, no way. He has a girlfriend. over it or whatever. Want it, we, we can talk on Monday with him. Okay, maybe. I just, I hope that you'll rethink... I'm going to send you that video, too. So will you rethink some of the things you said, though, about how you don't really have any strong positions? Mm, maybe. And how your whole reason for moving to the right is based on a spooky story that there's no evidence of it actually going to happen? I know. Now I'm left wing again. I'm going to get my left wing. Left wing the fact title. that you even think it's like that simple or, or that I black am left wing again. You've saved me, Hunter. I'm. Believe me, I'm. <laughs> I think you're probably beyond help, but I think that in the, the uh, but I think that at least in the case of your politics, like I think that, you know, you should rethink it because it sounds like you just don't have a very deep understanding. No, it's because I'm a woman. No, it's just because you're dumb. <gasps> because I'm a woman. No, not because you're a woman. You being a woman, a woman is aside the okay. point. It's okay, Hunter. Okay. It's okay. Are we done Let's with do that? Comment? I'm sending you that video, okay?
All right, send me the video and rethink all of your political positions. Deal. Forever. Okay. All right, bye. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.